What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we've got one news story for you today and it's all going to be all about the perfect 2023 foldable smartphone. And before we jump into this, I don't have any questions that I'm going to answer today due to the fact that I'm recording this a little bit early in time because I'm headed out on some vacation time to hang out with my family. So um, there won't be any questions answered today. But I got this idea from a Ben Gaskin Twitter post. He put the perfect 2022 smart foldable smartphone. And I was like, you know what? 2022 is basically over. Let's talk about 2023 and what I would want the perfect 2023 foldable smartphone and I know some of this stuff is completely out of the park I know it's not going to happen especially with some of the phones that we can buy here in America but it's wishful thinking and it's cool stuff to have um, so without further ado let's jump into this so the first thing that I would want is two things bigger display on the inside of this phone I want a much bigger display it's just something I want I think it'd be great to have a, a, a bigger display like it's already kind of big 7.6 but make it eight inches why not like make it so big that it's perfect you know and make it 4k we have not that these displays look bad but you make it 4k you know it's, it's a good selling point and things become sharper even though you might not be able to tell a huge difference it's just something cool to have and i would be and especially with all the power that's behind these phones now it definitely could support uh, a nice 4k 120 hertz ltpo main display on the outside 6.5 inch 120 hertz with an 18 by 9 aspect cover uh, ratio qhd plus and i'd want this to be wider I don't care about it being shorter, it doesn't matter to me, but definitely wider and just a little bit bigger so I can use it, almost like a traditional phone. You know, if I pull up a, a maybe like a, maybe have it the same display size as like, this is a Pixel 7 Pro, but like a Pixel 7 or something like that, I would be perfectly happy with that. So those are two huge things that I would want to happen on the displays, 4K on the inside, eight inches and 6.5 inch QHD plus on the outside, a little bit fatter, uh, so it's a little bit more usable next up pixel 8 pro cameras now pixel 7 pro it just came out but you assume pixel 8 pro is going to have better cameras and we're talking about 2023 so why not um sure it'd be nice to have a 200 uh, megapixel camera on the back like the s23 ultra and have 100x zoom and stuff like that but a little bit overkill for me i'd be perfectly fine with my favorite cameras being the pixel 8 pro cameras on the back of the foldable phone that we're making as our perfect phone. Storage size is I think 256 to one terabyte is absolutely amazingly perfect. I don't think you need to get anything, nothing less, nothing more. I know some people might want more than one terabyte, but let's be honest, it's very few and far between I would guess. So 256 to one terabyte of storage. RAM, 16 gigs of RAM. Now we can definitely get by with 12, but if we're trying to get the most perfect phone here for foldables, Let's go 16 gigs of RAM so we can open up as many apps and leave as many apps as we want open. Performance doesn't dip and all of that. Next would be charging. I would love, love, love to see much faster charging on, especially the Samsung side. I know some of these other Chinese phones have charging this fast. Uh, and obviously if I could get faster, yeah, I'm just being trying to be a little bit reasonable in here. 65 watt fast charging with wired and then 50 watt wireless charging on this foldable phone. I think that would be fantastic to be able to get much faster charging speeds, have them be wired or wireless. IP68 dust and resistance. We have IPX8, which is uh, water resistance. We want the dust in there too. Throw it in there. It'd be nice to have that. Snapdragon 8 Gen, Gen 2 is the processor. This is supposed to be a super powerful, super efficient processor, and it's going to be great for gaming and just overall usage. And it's going to be, I believe, one of the most powerful processors you can throw in a foldable phone. 5,000 milliamp battery, of course, I would love to see six or seven or 8,000 milliamps, but if it's gonna really hinder the weight and make it be a, a, a tank, I don't know if I want that. But yeah, 5,000 milliamp battery, I'd be perfectly fine with. Side mounted fingerprint sensor, why not? I love these, keep it there, don't put it on top of the display, keep it on the side so it doubles up as a power button. Now, if I miss something, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna change something, let me know your perfect 2023 foldable smartphone. Put it in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.